when Andrew Iwanaki lost his job in August. He probably expected to be spending a lot of time in bed. Little did he know that he'd actually be paid to do it. The very next day, he received an offer to join a NASA study that required him to lie in bed for three months straight, in exchange for a whopping $18,000. My bed is in the NASA Flight Analog Research Unit in Houston, Texas, where I'm being paid $18,000 to lie down for 70 days while NASA researchers study me, he wrote. I have been in this bed for three weeks now, and I will be here for seven weeks more. Andrew explained that the study, CFT-70, Countermeasure and Functional Testing in Head-Down Tilt Bed Rest Study, is part of a three-year effort to learn about bone and muscle atrophy in space. The team of NASA researchers have studied 54 people so far, and Andrew is the last participant. I had applied to the study a year earlier on a whim, assuming I'd never be chosen from the pool of 25,000 applicants and I'd never be able to halt my hectic life for 15 weeks," he explained. But as fate would have it, he suddenly found himself with an empty schedule and an offer in hand. Once he started to settle in, he began to observe the rest of the veteran test subjects who had arrived before him. He realized that they each had their reasons for being there. One was working on a novel while he earned enough money to buy his first motorcycle, another had a baby on the way and wanted to put some extra cash away before the delivery. He noted that the study attracted a lot of gamers, it serves as an ideal environment for escaping into the digital world without the usual responsibilities of daily life. There was this one guy who was there for his third NASA bed rest study. He'd been supporting himself for years from the money he earned there and at several other research facilities across the country. For his part, Andrew is trying to make the most of his leisure time. He's resumed his schedule of GRE and LSAT studies. And although he expects to hit a few unforeseen demons in the next two months, for now he feels cautiously optimistic.